Welcome everyone to Ricky's Tech Talk. OnePlus has just launched the OnePlus 9 series and today we're going to be taking a look at the OnePlus 9. So to begin with, we're going to get it unboxed and set up together. So on the front here, we've got OnePlus 9 and it's a 5G model. And it's been co-developed by Hasselblad, which is a camera company that really helps enhance the way you use your camera. We'll talk about this in a lot more detail during my review. Turn around to the back, you get to see a little bit of information, but I'll talk about this a little bit later on. So just got a bit of tape we need to cut. So now we can unbox. Nice, satisfying. Lift there. So at the top of the box is your paperwork. So we'll take a look at that as well. And we've got the winter mist color here, which looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks really nice. So taking a closer look at our paperwork, we've got welcome and you've got the Hasselblad logo on this as well. And you'll see that throughout the device. We've got our SIM tool and you've also got the never settle message here. So what I'll do is just open this up and if you want to have a read of this, you can do. There's a letter here giving thanks for you purchasing the device and also saying that OnePlus is never settling to give you absolute perfection from your smartphone. So you can pause the video and take a read for yourself. Brilliant. We also have a quick start guide. Shows you about your device, buttons, locations, inbuilt fingerprint sensor, which is great, and other information there. You've got safety information, a little bit larger, and you've got then the highest SRR value and other information on the back here too. Great, so that's all our paperwork there. If you do have any questions though at any time, drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. So sat on top is our device, which we'll take a look at in a second. Love that colour, really nice colour. Again, you've got the Hasselblad logo on here as well. So underneath, we've got a clear case, which is great. It's got the Never Settle logo branding on there, which I've got on my book here. And I first got that when I went to a launch of the OnePlus recently, quite close to the Millennium Dome, actually. Really quite interesting. You've got the iconic red cable here. So for charging, and this comes with Warp Charge 65T, which is the equivalent of 65 watts, which is unbelievable. And you just wait until I tell you how quickly it will charge your device. So that comes alongside your plug. So mine is a press unit and I've got two pin one. You will get a three pin one though, so do not worry. I've got OnePlus logo on there again, USB-C connection, and the speed is just unbelievable. But that's our plug there, which is great. Just pop that down. We've got our cable as well. So let's just move all of that to the side and bring in our device. So this is called the Winter Mist Color. Looks really nice. It's a subtle purple hue that looks just really nice in the light as well. So what's next is to take this off. Take it off, which is great. Just gonna take this sticker off as well. Looks really nice and again, really nice textured design there. You've got your camera lenses and quite exciting with the co-developed with Hasselblad to actually bring really great experience to your camera and taking photos. So powering on our device for the first time, we'll go through the setup process together. So it has Oxygen OS on top of Android and currently it's using Android 11, but of course this will get a push to Android 12. Oxygen OS is one of my favorite operating systems because it just works so fluently. Before we go through the setup phase together, let's just take a look at the vision settings it has down here in the bottom right hand corner. Inside here, you've got a range of different settings that you can change and adjust best suiting you. So we've got magnification, we've got font size here, just make it a little bit larger so I'm able to read this. Underneath that, we have display scaling, so you can change the display and make it a little bit larger for yourself. You then have select to speak and talk back options on here. So all the settings you need to get help right at the very beginning. Great thing to see there. So let's begin the setup process together. So start, we've got terms and conditions, which we need to agree to, and we're gonna hit agree. Check in for Wi-Fi, or we can use our mobile data. So use mobile data. Going to check for any updates here. Copy apps and data from a previous device. I'm going to say not now, but you could do it from an iPhone, an iOS device. We can use cloud backup as well, depending on what you want to do. Then it will ask you to sign into your Google accounts and you'll need this to use all the services and apps from Google. So simply sign in or sign up if you haven't had an account already. Then it's asking about Google services and which ones you want to use and you can scroll through. Just starting at the top here, I'm going to turn off the cloud backup. The majority of them I keep on. So next option is choose your search provider. 
So here in the UK and throughout Europe now, it's not obligatory to have one as set as default. You have to choose yourself. Then it moves on to anything else and you can add another email account, change the font size, which is good to see that they've had another option here for accessibility, change your wallpaper or review additional apps. Co-creation labs, I agree to all of this to get the best use out of my device. So set screen lock and you can choose different options inside here. So first of all, you have to choose a pattern, pin or password, and we're going to go with the standard pin. On your lock screen, what do you want to see? I'm gonna see all of my notifications. Then we've got the option here to unlock with fingerprint, which we are going to do. I'm gonna hit okay, and hit okay here. And it's just using the in screen fingerprint reader here. And all you're doing is filling this in and making sure you're moving it around slightly. And as you can see, it will ask you then to adjust your grip to get the edges. And you just feel a vibrate when you've done this correctly. Any point you are struggling, just leave a comment down below, happy to help. And you can also add another finger if you so want to. So we've got the never settle or the never settle here, two different options here to choose from. I prefer the bolder sort of text, that's great for me. Navigation, do we want a bar or would we like gestures? Like gestures, please. So it's just showing you here with gestures, how to go back, how to go home and your recent. Great. Set up complete. And here is our OnePlus 9, all set up and ready to go. Just coming back to this winter mist. Here in the UK, it's a very wintry day at the moment. It's not looking too great but the OnePlus 9 is all ready to go. But let's share some key details. First one first is it has its traditional slider here with different options of vibrate, ring and silent. Which is great, you get a little pop-up message there. You've got your power button and you've got your volume keys on the other side, on the left-hand side here. But let's go through some of the key details, but sharing some great images of the OnePlus 9. As I mentioned, the colour is the winter mist and it does look really nice. Subtle hue tones of pink and purple running throughout the device. Its display is a 6.55 inch fluid AMOLED display offering 120 hertz refresh rate. This isn't variable though on this model. Its resolution is 2400 by 1080. This will give us a pixel resolution of 402 pixels per inch, which is great. Moving around to the front camera, which is built into the top left-hand side of our device here. It's a little punch hole or in sort of screen camera. It's not under the display, but it's built into the screen. It's a Sony IMX471 sensor, which is 16 megapixels in size, offers EIS, which is electronic image stabilization, f2.4 in aperture. When it comes around to video recording, it's only at 1080p at 30 frames per second, whereas the Pro variant offers a little bit more. So that's our front camera. Let's turn around to our rear camera now. And with the co-developed design with Hasselblad, and I'll go into this so much more, it really will enhance your colors, bring them to life, skin tones, and natural colors will actually look like what you are seeing will be taken on your phone as well. We'll be definitely putting that out to the test as well. Is it just another partnership or have they really stepped up here and helped as much as they can? So they're offering a three year partnership with Hasselblad, offering Hasselblad cameras for a mobile. And as I said, I will be going into greater detail with this during my review. Your main lens is a Sony IMX689 sensor, which is 48 megapixels in size. It's an f1.8 in aperture. Underneath that, you have your ultra wide lens, which is a Sony IMX766 sensor, which is 50 megapixels and f2.2. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that actual ultra wide is and the level that it offers. Underneath that, you finally have a two megapixel monochrome lens as well to help with black and white photos. If you're interested in taking videos with your smartphone, you'll be happy to know this is not just a 5G device, it also offers the ability to record video at 8K at 30 frames per second. You've got 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second and 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second. 8K is amazing though, once you get to know the price. 
Looking at power and performance, it is built with Oxygen OS based on Android 11, and I'm sure it will get a push to Android 12. The CPU is the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor alongside a 5G chipset, which is the X16. So when it comes to RAM and storage, two different variants here. So there's the eight gigabytes and 128 gigabytes of storage but I have the 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage option here, which I'm very grateful for OnePlus sending out, which means I can put it to its absolute best and really show the best performance. Its battery, it's a 4,500 minute hour battery, which is great. Warp Charge 65T, which is a zero to 100% in 29 minutes. Half an hour. It takes me longer to get out of bed, get a shower, get ready for work and think about leaving. My phone's already charged. That is a great thing. By all means, we will be putting it to the test. So I'm really grateful that I've included that. Has 15 watts wireless charging. Again, very fast. It's better than 7.5. So with the OnePlus unbox and setup, it's time to grab my mask and go out on an adventure, testing the camera and all the other great features. So please let me know which videos you would like to see most from the OnePlus 9. So the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro are available to buy now. I'll put a link in the description and here in the UK, they are starting at £629, which is incredible for the features you're getting. So OnePlus are never settling and they are always improving and redesigning moving forward. So I will add a link in the description to OnePlus and also to Amazon. If you choose to buy through Amazon, it will help support the channel to make new content on a regular basis. So thank you very much. Also, I want to send a thank you to everyone that has commented, subscribed and view. We are getting so close now to 30,000 subscribers, which is truly amazing. And I will have a very special giveaway. So make sure you stay subscribed for that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring the notification bell to get updated with all of my latest videos. Please stay safe and I will catch you in my next video.